Open your Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And you probably have noticed from the songs this morning, we want to talk about the spiritual battlefield and being a Christian soldier. We've been working our way through Mark, and last week we took a break from the book of Mark to exhort fathers, and next week is the 4th of July, and I want to talk about the freedom, the liberty, the victory we have in Christ Jesus. So rather than try to pick up Mark again for just one week, we're going to talk about this spiritual battlefield where God wants to give us victory, and then we'll pick up Mark again um, on the 11th, Lord willing, July 11th. Second Corinthians chapter 10 is where we are. But before I read this, I want to ask you the question. Do you want to effectively serve God? Now, I know some of you probably came this morning and thought, ah, that's not why I'm here. I'm, I was sort of discouraged and my week was going really poorly. And I was sort of hoping you'd you know, give us a spiritual shot in the arm and uh, I could face next week. Well, you'll get that today. Trust me, you will, Lord willing. Maybe some of you thought, well, I, I'm just here because mom and dad made me come. <laughs> My parents uh, were good parents. They took us to church all the time. I remember when Tim, I've told you this story before, but he asked my dad, he said, do we have to go to church? My dad said, you don't have to go to the church if you don't want to. Tim said, well, I'm not going. Dad said, get in the car. And uh, we, just, we just went. I mean, whether we had a choice or not, we just went. So maybe some of you are here today and you're saying, well, I don't know about effectively serving God. I really just came because, you know, so-and-so made me come. 